OMG, Mabuhay Squad. I just had a shower, just came down, and you should see what Cypher is doing right now. So cute. Right, Le guys? <laughs> She's like, I'm busy preening. So, so cute. Check him out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. He loves sleeping on RJ's stomach. Aww. I'm sure he really misses home. You miss Baguio? Hey, you know what? We know your parents. We know where your brother is. We can see them again. Uh -huh. Don't worry. We can see them again. You have such beautiful eyes, Cypher. Oh, he's going to sleep. I love that he naps so much. I wonder how big he's going to grow. RJ and I were talking about this, right? I wish he could stay this size. His mom is a teacup chihuahua, so she's quite small. And dad is a York slash Bichon and quite small as well so he'll definitely stay toy sized but it's just a matter of how small he's also the runt which means he'll he's smaller than his brother pepper oh and he's just so tender and gentle you're such a gentle little one mm -hmm. you're beautiful your eyes kind of look blue <laughs> And I love his little red nose. See that, guys? So cute. I love your hair. So long and luscious. For sure, we're gonna be able to groom it. Such a good boy. Look at those beautiful eyes. Gorgeous hazel and blue eyes. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of reminds me of a Chinese crested. No, but there's hair here. It's just a mixture. It's wire coat. So yeah. it's like a mixture of short and long. But it's not staying on my shirt, no. It, he's not shedding yet. Uh. Thank goodness. But, I mean, hopefully he gets the Bichon freeze and the Yorkie hair, which is hypoallergenic. And it just, it feels different. It's like thin. Chihuahuas, though, they have that typical, like, thick hair. Yes. Beautiful dog. And I love the tricolor. Like, see, he's like totally tri colors like brown tan and white see that guys actually i think i almost see four colors there's a little bit of red in there like auburn you're a beautiful dog and you got spots if my mom ever babysat you she would scrub your spots with a rock to try to take those spots off he's <laughs> so tired guys look while he's sleeping i want to just like touch his toes and get him used to the sensation of like having his toes touched. You gotta desensitize them and get them used to having their toes touched at this age, especially when he's in a relaxed state like now. Mm -hmm. Touch the webbing. Yes. Boy, Cypher. Good boy. Good boy. Touch his ears. Good boy. Yeah. Touch his face. Touch his teeth. Yeah. Someone's awake now. <laughs> Look at him lying on his back. You got such a spotty stomach. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Yes. <laughs> well, if you have to go pee, which you usually do when you wake up, you know where to go. I am so proud that you've used your puppy pad. You know what to do. There it goes, going in the circle. Gonna go, it's gonna go. There we go. Yes. Very good boy. Yes. Yeah. Good boy! Very good boy! Good boy! A little on the side, but still very good boy! Alright! You're awesome! Come on! Yes, come on! Come on! It's okay! You could do it! Come! Good boy! Good! Come, come! He's still afraid! Come! Still afraid of elevators! But we're working on that. You know this, seventh floor, come. Oops, eighth floor. No, this is the wrong floor. Okay guys, you know what? This is not gonna work <laughs> because he runs away. The door opened at the eighth floor, not the seventh, where we usually have our outdoor running. And he took off. Now, I had a feeling this would happen. He doesn't follow me all the time if he's scared. So I think in order for me to take him out of the condo, he needs to be on a leash. That's the only way. He can't be free running because he's not confident enough yet. Oh, poor doggy. It's okay, next time. I don't know how this is gonna work. I guess I have to get him used to a collar and a leash first. At least that way I can guide him as opposed to allowing him to just free run and like he'll bolt away. Our bond is still new, so maybe he just doesn't trust me yet. And he's also a little bit fearful, like of the elevator, right? And guys, he dashed into someone's condo on the eighth floor. Ew, you just ran into the he thought it was our condo. <laughs> it was in the same place. Yeah. Oh boy. What song is that? Good boy. Yes. Good boy. 
Oh, his poo looks better than this morning. It's hard. Good boy, Cypher. Very good boy. Very good boy, yes. Good morning. Yes, you woke up early today. Mm-hmm. I see you have a bad hair day. <laughs> Come on, let's go pee. You know what to do. We've got a fun day ahead. I'm trying to be quiet because the guy is still sleeping. Yes, you a good boy. Mm-hmm. I know you have to pee soon. <laughs> he's so he's so little. Now he's trying to play with ants. <laughs> and then suddenly it'll just hit him. He'll be like, OMG, I gotta go to the bathroom right now. Here he goes. Yay! Yes! Gotta wait. Wow, that's a lot of pee. Whoa! Yes! Good boy! Good boy! Yeah! Good boy, Cypher! Good boy! Yes! Good boy! Mm-hmm! You good boy! That's very good! Very, very good! Very, very good! <laughs> yes! Very good! Very good boy! Very good boy! You pooed on the puppy pad! I am so happy! Very good boy! Yeah! You are the best, best puppy ever! There was nothing to this house breaking. And look how hard and healthy his poo is. Sorry guys, if you're eating. It looks like little tiny chocolate. And it's hard, which is good. It's nice and healthy. The new diet is really working out for you. Speaking of that, I have some things to say about that. All right guys, so time to make Cypher's breakfast. Um, wanted to talk to you guys about the food. So, um, this here, the food I've been feeding him is called origin it got a lot of great reviews before cypher arrived i looked up top 10 best puppy foods and this consistently kept making the top 10 so i'm like hey this is actually available in the philippines um so we decided to try it out and it's marketed as grain free now a lot of you guys in the comments are leaving messages saying that there's some research or some evidence that grain free diets for dogs are linked to heart disease omg okay thank you so i'm not sure um i do like the effects of it on his poop and his energy level right now is like off the roof now here's the thing one of you also mentioned that it's healthy to have healthy grains in his food as well as chopped vegetables as recommended by a vet do any of you do this do any of you guys put healthy grains in your dog's food along with vegetables chopped vegetables and the reason why this interests me is because who else eats the most healthy grains in this household than none other than miss ligaya summers right i go all out with the grains i sprout them and of course like all these healthy vegetables it's all chopped up and this bird eats spelt quinoa brown rice millets you know what i'm saying i wonder if like could I put that into dog food? I'm not sure. Not going to try unless one of you guys out there say that you do it and have found success. I need to ask a vet. But yeah, I do plan on having Cypher learn to eat veggies like broccoli and stuff because I know it's good for them. Anyway, just trying to learn our best once again, as I said with Raising Ligaya, like RJ and I are just going to learn as we go. We've done as much research as we could and thanks to all of your awesome help, we're able to like get a lot of help and information. So it's like we're raising Cypher together, guys. Thank you. Gotta serve him breakfast. Yes, Cypher, you know what this is? You know what this is? Hmm? It's yummy breakfast. Yeah, all right. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Guys, his energy level is like off the roof right now. I think he's slowly getting over his depression from like leaving his family. And he's like super happy. Such a good boy. <laughs> I find he grabs some, eats, leaves for a bit, and then comes back and eats. So cute. But yeah, wouldn't that be awesome if I could put like some of Ligaya's healthy grains in there and her chop? Because Ligaya has a lot of really healthy vegetables in her chop. And I often make more than I need. I'm uh, just gonna continue researching, I suppose. And again, I appreciate all of your feedback. I expect to make some mistakes. And Mabu High Squad, I appreciate you guys being kind at correct correcting me or making suggestions. And the reason why I say kindness is because 
being a pet YouTuber is can be kind of a sensitive thing because I mean it's kind of like those parent vloggers right like everyone has different styles of raising uh, kids or pets and sometimes like especially when emotions are involved parents or pet owners can be cyberbullied and or bashed my channel ends Canada although not a traditional pet channel it's still a pet channel you're caring for life forms you know what I mean like animals creatures whether it be spiders or or axolotls or fish right so I'm no stranger to such bashing <laughs> I've been bashed before and it can get pretty bad like sometimes I see all the drama that's going on in the beauty community online and that bash like that's crazy drama bashing so yeah guys anyways thank you for being kind as I learn through all of this as we learn together good morning morning the guys did you sleep well? <laughs> How are you? Oh, beautiful bird. I'll make your breakfast. Cypher's like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> He's so funny. He jumps a lot now. He's more jumpy, see? Like, energy level off the roof. He's now chewing on his army bone toy. What I find he loves to do is he'll collect his toys, the ball, all of this, and he'll bring it to his bed. And then when he's done playing with that toy, he'll get another toy. Currently, his favorite toy is the ant. <laughs> Honestly, this is his favorite toy. You're such a good doggy. Yeah, tear up that bone. Tear it up. Tear it. My beast. My gargoyle. Guys, Ligaya talks to the dog. <laughs> See, she talks to him. See guys, look at all the awesome things Ligaya eats for breakfast. First of all, of course, the healthy oils, palm oil and coconut oil. And then here we have sprouted millets, sprouted spelt, quinoa, sprouted lentils, sprouted mung bean, a bunch of really great stuff that goes in. I create enough for like a month and I put the rest in the freezer, then defrost in batches of three days. Lots of goodies there, see? Then we have vegetable chop. Tons of amazing vegetables in here. I'm just gonna give, be generous with that. And then finally, brown rice. The guy loves brown rice. This is the stuff she really goes for. She picks out every last grain. Let me just mix it all up. All right, the guy's gonna love this breakfast, see? There we go. There you go, my dragon feast, my dragon feast. Cypher loves daddy RJ. <laughs> it's like random dirt we have to make sure we keep clean. Like Legaya's down feathers that fly everywhere. I already see him trying to eat them. <laughs> My wolf, stop eating everything you see. And you, Ligaya, stop throwing him your pellets. <laughs> she literally takes the pellets and throws them through the bars for Cypher to eat. They're like, it's teamwork. He's so intrigued by Ligaya. <laughs> Back to Daddy RJ. <laughs> So guys, pooed again, but in the wrong place, right here, instead of there. Uh, I guess like, he's gonna make mistakes. I wasn't watching him, that was my fault. He got away with it. He might possibly learn that it's okay to poo here, but I just have to keep correcting him every time he does it. Aww. But hey, I'm not complaining. I mean, I expected this to be a lot harder. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Wow. Hey Cypher. So bad do you like him? Mm -hmm. RJ was saying you're so beautiful, you're so cute. <laughs> but I've never seen you so like caring to an animal. Like you've cared for Legaya, but like I, I can tell there's a bond here happening. Little Cypher. Yeah. Probably misses his family, but it's okay. We're here. You have a big family. You have thousands of godparents watching you, rooting for you. Yes. You have a huge pack. We're all here for you. Your hair is just unruly. <laughs> I'd rather your hair be unruly than you be unruly. <laughs> we plan on giving Cypher a bath later. His first bath. So cute. And I love the colors. Like, he's totally tricolored. And he's got like a little red nose. Such a sweet, sweet dog. His hair is totally Yorkie hair. It's like wool, cottony. It's not thick. It's like, it's Yorkie hair. Very thin. Let's go ahead. 
Yeah, but his shape is a chihuahua head, yeah. A little apple chihuahua head. Very good boy, guys. I'm here to report. He's just very good boy. Yes, he's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here, Cypher. Yes. Good boy. Come. Let's go. Come on, Cypher. Come here. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Okay, let's go back home. Let's go run back home. Run, run, run. Wow, he's fast. <laughs> you smell my feet. <laughs> you smell my feet. <laughs> Even Ligaya's laughing at it. <laughs> isn't he funny, Ligaya? Isn't he funny? He's such a funny little doggy, isn't he? Here, this is your favorite toy, isn't it? You love destroying ants. All right, well, here you go. One, two, three, get it! Okay, and he's not... He's gonna... <laughs> Are you laughing at him too? And there he goes, into his bed with the ant. Yes, go ahead. Okay, here's the ant again, ready? And fetch! Go get it! There he goes. <laughs> go get the ant! The ant's not gonna move. <laughs> pick up the ant. And... <laughs> Back to his bed. <laughs> Isn't he funny? <laughs> Very good cypher. He ate all his breakfast, but it took him an hour. <laughs> all right, guys, positive affirmation for Monday, June the 29th. I am at one with all of life. The whole world is my family. Yes, love that. There you go, guys. Alright my high squad, now I just discovered something about Cypher that I didn't know before, but now I do know. Mm. My high squad, check out what I just discovered. <laughs> 